Hello, my name is Mike Senna, and today I want to show you how you can install an emergency cutoff for your robot's tread system or drive system. Uh, what I have here is my remote control and my receiver. Off of this receiver, I have what is called a switch, a servo switch. So what this does is it turns one of your outputs into a switch that activates this relay. So it's an on and off, creates an on and off switch here. And I've attached it to my number five servo output, which is hooked up to this switch here. So when I throw the switch, it makes a connection here. So that means these two are connected. The heart and soul of the whole system is this solid state relay. Uh, the brand of this one is Fotec, but this number right here, SR100, this means it's a 100 amp solid state relay. Um, you'll probably find these in heaters and things like that, industrial applications. Uh, you can buy these separately on the internet. And on the internet. Um, so we have, once this is powered, with a negative and a positive from 3 to 32 volts DC here. Once that's powered, it basically inside here connects these two terminals and will turn on anything that you want. So what I have here to demonstrate is just a flashing light that's connected to my negative of my battery. And once these two are connected, it'll make this positive connection to this side and it'll turn on this lamp. So again, the sequence of events is once I throw the switch, this connection will be made, which gives a positive connection to the, this side of the solid state relay. And then it will connect these two and my light will go on. So let me throw the switch. So this right here would be your speed controller and it would be in the on position and you'd be able to drive your robot all around. But as soon as you want to take pictures with children or someone that, um, or somewhere where you don't want your, potentially your robot, robot can do some damage, um, all you have to do is flip this switch and it will turn off whatever you want to. So we're doing the drivetrain. So let me show you how that works in a real life situation with a robot. So here's my robot and you can see that these treads are kind of exposed. So at some points in time, I don't want these treads to move at all. So that's why I have this emergency cutoff. So right now, uh, what I have as a visual indicator is this red light that Wally has on his chest. So when I know that's on, that's it's red, that means danger to me, that means he can drive at this point. So sure enough, he can go. My emergency switch is right here. I have drive off and I put a piece of tape around there, a red piece of tape, so that I know that it's there. Now when I want to and I'm driving, I just can flip this up easily. Instead of a downward motion to have it on, it's easier for me to just click with my thumb in case of emergencies. So with it on you can see the light on when i turn it off light goes off and i have no control of the drive still move his head still do my voices uh, but i cannot drive as soon as i flip it i'm able to fully drive if i'm driving and i flip it off no control A quick peek at where it's at. See right here is the Fotec solid state relay on top of it. You can see my little relay switch and you can see the two big power lines coming off of here going to my speed controller. So that's about it for today and once again I hope this helps you guys out and See you in the next video.